When we think of Halloween, we think of a fun and spooky holiday for those of all ages. But to understand the origin of Halloween, we need to come back 2,000 years ago. It all began with the Celts, a people whose culture has spread across Europe more than 2,000 years ago. October 31st was the day they celebrated the end of the half season in a festival called Soin. That night also marked the Celtic New Year and was considered a time between years, a magical time when the ghosts of the dead walked the earth. It was the time when the band between death and life was supposed to be at its thinnest on the festival of Soin. So the villagers gathered and lit huge bonfires to draw the dead back to the spirit world and keep them away from the living. But as the Catholic Church's influence grew in Europe, it frowned on the pagan rituals like sewing. In the 7th century, the Vatican began to merge it with a church-sanctioned holiday, so November 1st was designated All Saints' Day. So where have some of these modern-day traditions originated from? We know that dressing up during Halloween originated from the Celts, who dressed up as evil spirits to avoid harm from other evil spirits during the festival of Soin. Both of these holidays has to do with the afterlife and about survival after death. It was a calculated move on the part of the church to bring more and more people into the fold. In medieval Britain, during the All Souls Day festival, the poor and those in need would beg for food and would often be given salt pastries made from flour and water. These were named soul cakes. In return, they would pray for relatives who passed away. The young ones would also dress up like in customs and they would go door to door collecting food and sometimes even money. In exchange, they would sing, recite poetry and telling jokes. All Saints Day was known then as Hallow Mass, which means holy or saintly. And the night before October 31st was All Hallows Eve, which gradually changed into Halloween. The holiday came to America with the wave of Irish immigrants during 1840. This tradition was revived in America by Irish and Scottish people as they brought several their holiday customs with them including bobbing for apples and playing tricks on neighbors like removing gates from the front of the houses. The young pranksters wore masks so they wouldn't be recognized, but over the years the tradition of harmless tricks grew into something totally different, and it became a little bit dangerous. Back in 1930, it really became a dangerous holiday. I mean, there was such hooliganism and vandalism. Trick and pretty was originally an extortion deal, give us candy or we'll crush your house. So storekeepers and neighbors began giving treats or bribes to stop the tricks and children were encouraged to travel door to door for treats as an alternative to trouble making. And by the late 30s, trick or treats became the holiday greeting. Thanks for watching. See you next time.